Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll show you three different football designs that you can do for Sunday night football, the Super Bowl this weekend, or while having a Friday Night Lights marathon. All three are really nice and simple to do, however some nail tapes or vinyls, a good gel pen and a thin nail art brush or a striper brush is going to make doing these so much easier and produce a neater end result. Now all the designs are interchangeable so you can really mix them up on your nails and go crazy. The first design is a simple football and field markings mani. Now for the ball we're going to start by painting the nail brown and letting it dry completely. Apply a quick dry top coat if you need to as we'll be using a gel pen on this nail and the pressure will dent the polish if it's not totally dry. I'm going to be using a Uniball Signo fine tip gel pen for the detail and yes this is just a regular pen that you write with from my local office supply store. These are so good for nail art. I'll put down in the description box where I get mine from, but since I'm in Australia, you international guys will probably have to search a little bit harder for them. To use the pen, you just draw on the nail. It's really just that easy. Sometimes the ink doesn't flow as good as it can, so just have a piece of scrap paper to scribble on just to get the ink moving again. I ended up redoing my pen work off camera as I was working at a really awkward and bad angle and it just turned out crooked the first time. But the other great thing about the gel pen is it just wipes off the nail when you want it to but doesn't get smudged by top coat. I want this design matte so I'm going to be using a matte top coat. Wait till the pen ink has dried and apply the top coat like normal to seal the ink down. If you don't apply a top coat it's going to wash off and if you try to top coat it before it's dry it's going to smudge. For the field markings, I'm going to need a green base and a long stripe and nail art brush that I got on eBay to apply the lines with. Once your base polish is dry to the touch, run the striper brush down the nail using the body of the brush to guide it down the length. Now the secret to stripers and getting good straight lines is to almost lay the brush down on the nail and then to pull it straight down across what you've just painted on. Don't second guess yourself, they can sense your hesitation and your fear. When you have your long centre marking, apply some shorter ones next to it. I had to thicken and shorten mine up off camera which I just did with more green polish and more white polish because the angle that I was working with was just horrible. You can also use the gel pen for the field markings if you don't have a striper brush or you feel less confident using one. Apply the matte top coat or regular if you're keeping them shiny and you're done. This is the end result for design number one, a simple and easy football and field design. Now design number two is similar but a little bit different. The ball is given a more textured look and the field markings have been used as a French tip. I made this design easy by using What's Up Nail regular straight tape so you don't have to worry about tackling a striper brush but a small nail art brush is needed. Now this nail art tape from eBay also works but nail vinyls are a lot better quality and create a cleaner line. For the football start with a brown base and using a light brown polish and a dotting tool apply dots all over the nail. You want them to be nice and close together and because we're replicating the pattern on a football they don't need to be straight. Just make sure that you cover the nail. If you don't have a dotting tool, an old pen that has no ink left in it or the end of a bobby pin or hair grip works well too. Apply a quick dry top coat since we're using vinyls to make sure that the base is totally dry and secure the polish to the nail. If you don't do this, the vinyl can sometimes pull the polish up when you remove them. Cut your vinyl into halves and lay them on the nail, leaving a small thin line in between them. Apply a line of polish and then quickly remove the vinyls while the polish is still wet. If you let it dry too much, it will leave stringy bits when you pull them off. Lay another vinyl cut into two halves a little wider next to the line that you just painted and using white polish and a thin brush or a striper, draw the cross stitches over the middle line and then remove the vinyls. Now since this is an NFL ball and not an NCAA ball, I'm not doing the two white lines because it's good to know your balls ladies, but if you do want to do a college ball you can easily do that with two What's Up Nail French tip vinyls laid on the nail just like this. Apply a top coat and I'm going to be matting this design as well, but a regular top coat is fine too. For the French tip looking field markings, apply another regular straight vinyl across the end of your nail. This will ensure that they're all the same length and with a thin nail art brush or a striper brush, draw lines down the edge of your nail and then remove the vinyl. Apply a top coat and you're done. Now yes, these first two are very similar but it shows you two different ways to do the traditional football and field markings design with two different techniques. This third and last design has some team colours added in and another different field markings design because two obviously wasn't enough. Since it's Super Bowl weekend this weekend between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos, I decided to use their team colours even though I'm a hardcore New England Patriots fan. For the Panthers nail I started with a blue base and applied a top coat since I'm going to be using vinyls for this design and without a top coat they can sometimes pull the polish up. Once the top coat is dry, apply two French tips to the nail in this V shape and then with a black polish, colour each side in. While the polish is still wet, remove the vinyls and clean up any mess or extra polish on the skin. 
taking a skinny straight vinyl, cut it in half and apply it to the nail in a V shape on the top half of your nail, and then fill it in using some white polish. While the polish is wet, remove the vinyls. Apply top coat to smooth it all out. For the Bronco's nail, I started with a white base and again applied a quick dry top coat since I'm going to be using vinyls. When the base is dry, apply two skinny straight vinyls vertically down the nail. Then with some orange polish, paint down the middle of the nail and working quickly, apply a navy blue down each side. Remove the vinyls quickly before the polish dries too much. Apply a top coat to smooth and seal the design. Finally for the field marking nail, I use my Uniball Signo pen on a drying green nail. Draw a line across your nail and then add some markings down one side and then since this is Super Bowl 50, I decided to add a 50 onto the design. Apply a top coat to seal the gel pen onto the nail. I also used a gel pen on the football nail in this design. You can of course substitute any team colour for the Panthers and Broncos colours. I know I prefer them in red, white and blue, but it's totally up to you. So there is three different football designs that you can mix and match this weekend depending on your skill level, what tools you have and how complicated or simple you want them to be. If you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe for more nail art videos.